In this video, I'll demonstrate a one-way analysis of variance, otherwise known as ANOVA. The ANOVA is an extension of the two-sample t-test and is used to determine whether an overall significant difference among three or more group means exists. Specifically, I'll show you how to run an ANOVA, including multiple mean comparison tests between groups, and show you two ways one can produce a measure of effect size. I'll demonstrate it using the following two variables, eth race, a measure of race and ethnicity consisting of four groups, and soch trust, an interval measure of social trust, a higher value indicating a higher level of trust. The command for a one-way ANOVA is quite simple. Here's the generic command. One way, your dependent or interval variable, then your independent categorical variable, comma, then your options. And I like to include tabulate and bone feroni. The tabulate option will produce summary statistics for each group, including the mean and standard deviation on social trust in this case. The bone Froni option has data conduct multiple comparison tests between the groups, allowing you to see which group's means are significantly different from one another. ANOVA results by themselves don't actually tell you this. They only say whether an overall significant difference among means exists. Not all group means have to be significantly different from one another in order for ANOVA to return a statistically significant result. This makes the bone Froni option a valuable addition to the results. I'll go through the menu system to show you how this command is produced. You go to Statistics. Linear Models and Related, ANOVA MANOVA, One-Way ANOVA. The response variable is your interval dependent variable, in this case, SOCH trust. The factor variable is your independent categorical variable, in this case, ETH race. And I like to select Bone Ferroni, which will do the multiple comparison tests. And I also like to produce the summary table, which is the tabulate option. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Here we see the results. The tabulation results are presented first. Here we see the means for each group, their standard deviation, and also the frequencies for each group. The actual ANOVA results follow. Here we see the F statistic. There are two degrees of freedom relevant for an ANOVA. Here we see them both listed here. And then we have the p-value. Finally, we have the Bonferroni comparison tests. These show which group means are significantly different from one another. The way to read the results is to subtract the column group mean from the row group mean as you can see here. The first value reported is the difference in means. And one would simply, if going back up to the tabulate results, one would get that subtracting these values from one another. The second number reported is a p-value for each mean comparison test. This tells you whether, in fact, there is a significant difference in the means. In this case, we see that all groups are significantly different from one another, except blacks and Hispanics. You may also opt to conduct a pairwise mean comparison test in addition to the bone Ferroni test. That'll provide a little more information than the bone Ferroni option. To do that, you'd simply go to Statistics, Summary Tables and Tests, Summary and Descriptive Statistics, Pairwise Comparison of Means. There, you'd simply put in your variable, in this case, Social Trust, over F race. Click on Reporting, Effects Tables, show effects table with p-values, and I also like to sort the means differences. Go ahead and hit OK. And again, here are the differences between the groups. Here we see between 4 and 1, 3 and 1. And again, these are ordered by size. Their standard error, the actual t-value, and the p-value for each group. One last item we may want to include in ANOVA is the measure of effect size. There are two ways to calculate this. First, one could rerun the ANOVA, but use an alternative command. In this case, simply type ANOVA, then your dependent variable followed by the independent variable. In this case, SOCH trust and F race. Now, the reason I didn't use this command to start with is that the ANOVA command, while it does the same ANOVA analysis, does not allow for the tabulator or bone Ferroni options. We do get the same F statistic and P value and so on, but we also get, in this case, an R squared. Some refer to this as ETA squared. This is a measure of explained variation. In this case, our grouping variable, F race, explains 17.8% of the variation in social trust. That's pretty good for a single variable. The second way to get a measure of effect size, in this case R squared, would be to run a simple regression. It's a rather simple command. Simply type regress, your dependent variable, so trust, and then your categorical variable. But keep in mind that with regression, if you have a nominal or ordinal variable, you'll need to dummy it out first. Fortunately, Stata has a simple command to do that. You simply type i dot and then your categorical variable, f race. 
the I dot function essentially dummies out the variable, leaving the first category off as a reference group to which the others are compared. Go ahead and hit return. We won't focus on the results except to show that there again is the R squared value. So how would one write up these results? In this case, our results might be written up as follows. F with three and 4,107 degrees of freedom equals 296.78 with a p-value of 0 0.000 and R squared of 0 0.1782. One might also note that significant differences exist between all group means on social trust except between blacks and Hispanics. And using the pairwise mean comparison results, one could also report on which groups are most different from each other.